Let me show you all this little two pound jambalaya. Check it out. So I'm making a two pound jambalaya. And what that means is how much rice I'm putting in the jambalaya. So two pound jambalaya means I'm using two pound of rice. For every pound of rice, you want to use the same amount of meat. So each of the three meats. So I'm doing a two pound, two pounds of pork, two pounds of chicken, two pounds of sausage. I'm also going to fry up a handful of bacon in there. Now I'm going to brown up each of my meats individually. I'm going to fry the sausage, take it out. I'm going to cook the chicken, take it out. I'm going to throw in the bacon, cook that, and then throw in my pork. Put a little oil in your black iron pot. You want to get that nice and heated up. Drop in your sausage and go ahead and get a good brown on it. Remove it from the heat once it's got a nice char. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and add in our chicken. I'm using boneless, skinless thighs for this, and I went ahead and pre-seasoned it with some Creole seasoning. Once you got that good brown, go ahead and take that out. Add in that sliced up bacon, and you want to cook that till all that fat renders and the bacon is crispy. Finally, we're going to add in our pork, and we're going to brown that right in that bacon fat. Now this is just cubed up Boston butter with some of that heavy fat removed and then I seasoned it up with Creole seasoning. Now with the pork, we're actually gonna leave this in the pot and we're gonna cook this a bit longer to help break down some of that fat. That pork is good and fried down, we're gonna add in our Trinity. Now once our vegetables are in, we're actually gonna use some of the moisture that they're gonna release to help scrape off some of them burnt bits on the bottom. That's gonna give us some delicious flavor. You want to cook this till it's nice and soft, till it looks something like this. At this point, we're going to go ahead and add in our garlic. Now we got them vegetables cooked down. I'm going to add in just a little bit of chicken broth. I want to get that pork tender and also I want to evaporate all of this liquid. That way when I put my measurements for my rice, I'm still on point. So I'm going to add about a half a quart. You might need a little bit more. Just keep an eye on it. Like I said, when that pork is tender, you want most of this liquid to be evaporated. Now we'll go ahead and get our liquid ready. We're going to have a little bit of moisture still left in that pot. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to do three quarters of a quart of liquid to every pound of rice. I'm going to do about half this bottle of W sauce. One can of V8. quarter bottle of crystal hot sauce and we're just gonna fill it up till we got our quarter and a half with chicken stock I add in just a little bit of browning sauce now that pork's been cooking about a half hour I'm adding a can of Rotel I'm going to add in the sausage and the bacon pieces. Now that pork and sausage is getting tender and you can see most of that liquid is starting to evaporate. You can take that scoop and put that on a slice of white bread if you want. Our pork is tender, we'll go ahead and add that chicken. Get that up to a ball. <clears throat> I go ahead and season it up. You want to taste for your seasoning. You want it to be overly salty and spicy because that rice is going to absorb a lot of that. my spice rice, so I'm going to go ahead and add in some salt. You go ahead and add in your green onions and parsley. Once that's boiling, we're going to add in our two pounds of rice. I'm 
I got my flat spoon. I want to gently move this around so that rice absorbs all that liquid. It's going to take about 10 or 12 minutes. You don't want to over stir right here because you'll break it up and make it mushy. I just want to move that bottom around so it don't burn. And once that liquid's almost gone, you go ahead and cover it. Lower your heat. Don't touch it for 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. We're going to pull the cover, roll that rice around. This is not really a stir. You just kind of want to flip that rice over itself. If you feel a layer stuck to the bottom, try not to disturb it. I'm gonna cover it again, let it go for 15 more minutes. Now we're gonna cut the fire off. We're gonna give it one more flip, cover it again, and let it sit for 20 more minutes without the fire. Again, you're not stirring like crazy, just kind of rolling that rice around. After you rest it, all that liquid ought to be absorbed. Your rice should have popped, and it all ought to be tender. Boudreaux's Backyard. Full recipe on the website.